Hi, I'm Stephen Papadopoulos, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about MS. You might be wondering what MS is. Well, MS stands for multiple sclerosis. It comes from the Greek words meaning many scars. These scars attack the nerves in your central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord. We do not know what causes MS, but we do know there's currently no cure. Another thing we know about MS is it's not contagious. You cannot catch from someone. I'm here with Kayla. Come on in, Kayla. We'd like to demonstrate how MS can affect someone's body. Imagine this hose is a nerve in your central nervous system. If you turn the hose on, water comes out from the other end. Kayla, can you please step on the hose? What's happened? The water has stopped and only drips are coming out. Exactly, and that's how a scar can affect a nerve in someone's body. The message doesn't get through in the end, it comes out in dribs and drabs, and sometimes it gets delayed. Thanks, Kayla. How come I know so much about MS? Well, it's because I have MS. I got my first symptoms when I was 16 years old. I was still in high school. I got blurry eyes one day. I ran home and told my mom and dad. I told them it was because I was studying too hard. They didn't believe me. They thought it was because I was sitting too close to the television, which I was, but we went and had my eyes tested anyway. The doctors couldn't find anything wrong with my eyes. As far as they could see, my eyesight was fine. I had blurry eyes for about six weeks, so it was hard for me to read and do my schoolwork. Watching TV wasn't very fun either. A couple of months after that, I had problems with my balance. I couldn't stand up very well. I also had problems with my speech. I knew what words I wanted to say, but the words just wouldn't come out of my mouth. I was very tired, I couldn't keep up with my friends or my schoolwork, and I really, really didn't know why. A year after that, I was in year 12. I got pins and needles. I got pins and needles over my entire body. I'm sure you've had pins and needles in your legs or your hands before. Imagine having it over your entire body. That's what I had for eight weeks. I was seeing doctors and they were telling me to exercise more, drink more water, eat more vegetables. They had no idea what was wrong with me. In 2001, when I was 22 years old, I got all my symptoms hit me all at once. I got the blurry eyes, the pins and needles, problems with balance and problems with my speech. I went to see a different doctor and he sent me to see a specialist. The specialist sent me to see what is called an MRI. An MRI is where they take photos of your brain and your spinal cord. When my photos came back, I had tiny little white scars in my brain and that meant that I had multiple sclerosis. I was fine with my diagnosis. I was quite relieved to know what it was I had all these years. Then the doctor said the word injections. But one thing you should know about me is I am scared of injections. I hate them. I have to inject myself three times a week. And just before I inject, I put a big bowl of cookies and cream ice cream, a slice of my cake and a chocolate bar because that's my reward because I was a brave boy and I had an injection. Being diagnosed with MS, I wanted to be positive. So I thought, how can I help other people with MS and create awareness? I decided to become an MS ambassador and an MS readathon presenter so I could tell as many people as possible about MS and how it affects people. And with your help doing the MS readathon, we're sure to get there quicker.